Thanks. With uh, fifth evening class, we are doing the uh, practical called bubble method. Now, bubble method is very old method for level measurement. And uh, today we are replicating the instruments like that. We have uh, a compressor for pneumatic air supply. And uh, it is connected to an AFR. Now, this compressor output is regulated by this AFR, which is air filter regulator. And it is connected to a T. Now, one of the output of this T is going to the tank, what we have at this. And we have the readings written here. And uh, the another output of the T will go to the pressure gauge. We have the special type of pressure gauge, you can see it, uh, which shows the reading into mm water column. So, this is a no uh, reading is there, so it is showing 0, around 0. Now, this pipe or this tubing will insert inside that and will create bubbles. Now, I request how to operate the compressor. Okay, the compressor is operated. You can see the bubbles are created. So, this is bubbles are generated. Now, bubbles are created and generates back pressure inside the speech. So, I request ma'am to hold it in a particular position. Now, you can see this reading is there. You can see the reading is around 40. And now, I want uh, to lift up a little bit. And you can see the drop inside the uh, pressure because the back pressure is dropping down. I request uh, ma'am to lift up it. Okay, so you can see this. Okay, so this is a better view. Uh, I request ma'am to uh, little bit drop down it. And uh, you can see the reading is riding pass, okay. So I can uh, see that it has reached to a maximum point. Uh, now uplifting the probe will give the will get the right, uh, drop inside the pressure. So it is working on a back pressure principle. You can see this pressure change with respect to the level change or the probe movement. Thank you very much for coming.